everyone today on the show we are talking some mezco 112 collective standard release of blade previously i covered this guy when i was lucky enough to receive the toy fair version from mezco and as you can see the packaging looks great he's packed with a lot of goodies including that trench coat so let's go ahead and get this one on the books rocking and rolling and let's just cover this guy's detail and whatnot so aesthetically speaking blade looks great the pants are basically the same from the toy fair version uh the shirt is different it's not as wild and crazy as the toy fair version now you'll see the video on the bottom of the screen that's just to give your eyes some comparison between the toy fair version and this one uh as you'll notice on this one he is missing the holster that houses the gun he does not include that with this version but he still got the spot for the spikes once again the shirts made of a nice material it's not as busy as the toy fair version it feels really good and doesn't hinder the articulation he's got a beautiful head sculpt and an alternate head that look fantastic that we saw also with the toy fair release so all in all very satisfying figure um let's do the fun part now let's go ahead and start breaking down articulation and see how this guy handles up as compared to the toy fair version so with this version of blade some things work a little better now in terms of the head sculpt it goes side to side really no issue at all the head can rotate looks up a good amount looks down a good amount just at the head you add that neck peg in there you even get a wider range of movement that isn't stiff or holds anything back from the figure as you can see it can do a lot of different things now in terms of the body he does have a diaphragm joint at the top he crunches back pretty good uh goes forward ever so slightly um he does rotate there at the top as well now with the bottom section where the abs are he does go back a lot further and then he does go forward too now this isn't as hindered as what you saw with the toy fair version just because of the different material there but you got the waist cut and everything really works great so no problems posing him without the jacket now in terms of the arms they go up they go down uh they got the butterfly joint right there and you can extend them out bicep cut double bend at the elbow and then of course we got the ball peg at the wrist that allows for a full range of uh, rotation and articulation now in terms of the legs uh, blade can definitely kick out and do the splits which is nice uh, he can kick forward he can go back he's got the thigh cut hidden underneath the pleathered pants there double bend at the knee and then of course he's got the boot rotation uh, at the ankles they do go up and they do uh, rock from side to side and they do go back and of course he's got the peg hole at the bottom at the end of the day i'm very satisfied with the articulation i really don't have a problem with it let's go ahead and start breaking down all the crazy goodies that blade comes with let's go ahead and start breaking down accessories first up we have blades jacket now this was something that was missing from the toy fair version and i'm glad that they included it here with the standard release the jacket looks good it's nice and sewn and put together very well it's even got the zipper here which you can attach even though i'm having a little bit of a problem doing it but once you figure out what you're doing just be careful with it it will zip up and uh, it does work quite well and that's something that is that little extra detail that mezco goes to do now some people complain ah it's too big and whatnot and although i think that's a fair criticism it doesn't really bother me that much uh, another cool thing is it does have bendy wire at the uh, towards the bottom of the jacket and it does have a bendy wire over at the collar which works out really good and i just love the red inlay that goes with this jacket so let's go ahead and put the jacket on blade now the key here is to pop off the hands first make sure you got them bent back in a good position and then just do your best to try to slide it on and get it on nice and good that way it doesn't hurt anything at all as you can see it took a minute or two i did speed up the video to try to make this as efficient as possible for you guys but you can get the jacket and then you just pop in the hands and 
you're good to go. The thing I love about this jacket is, although at times it can hinder the articulation, aesthetically speaking, excuse me, it does look great. It just kind of completes the look for Blade for a lot of people, especially considering that that Blade movie back in the day really did give everybody that definitive look for Blade. And then, of course, the sword and the sheath with the magnetic piece do fit in the back. Some people have had problems with it. I haven't. It holds up just fine for me with really no issue to speak of. As you can see, that slot there allows it to plug in and you shake it there. And I had no issues with it. Now, everybody else's may be different, but at least for mine, uh, no QC on that end. So let's go ahead and start breaking down weapons, shall we? Because there are a lot of accessories that go with the standard release of Blade. First up, we got the, I don't know what that is, like an Uzi type weapon. It looks very nice and it even has the clip with the silver bullet inside. As you can see with the jacket, you got the shoulder strap for the shotgun. You just attach it there and he holds it quite well. It's even got the nice pump action feature which came out quite good. And then of course you got this new blast effect that looks really nice as well. He comes with two silver bladed boomerangs and those look really good. And they fit into the belt quite nicely and fold up pretty good. He's got a total of six stakes, three of which you can put on his belt. And right there I had him holding one in his hand. And then of course we got the sword and sheath which I've already covered. But they look really great too once you have them out and ready for some action. Whether he's cutting up vampires, werewolves, demons, whatever the case. So let's go ahead and start talking about hands next. Alright, let's talk hands just so you guys can see, he comes with the same amount that the Toy Fair version did. They're pretty much identical. I can't notice any differential in them in terms of paint and whatnot. But you do get a lot of hands. As you can see, you got like this gripping kung fu style hand. And you got this chopping kung fu hand. You got trigger hands to hold all the variety of weapons that Blade comes with. And you got another kung fu type hand. And then you got the sword holding hands. And uh, those work out really good. And then you got some fisted hands. Uh, all in all, the hands are really a special treat here. It's amazing that a Me Mezco packed in so many hands. And I'm just thrilled. Let's go ahead and move on to the heads. All right. Here's the standard release blade head. This is the default head. Uh, he's not as angry or crazy looking. And then, of course, our next head is the Fang head. It looks great, just like it did on the Toy Fair release. Definitely love the detail with the teeth. Mezco did a great job with that. And just for fun, I wanted to show you guys what the Toy Fair version alternate heads look like on this body. Just so you have an idea in case you ever pick it up. And then, of course, we got four glasses here four blade shades and then we got our 112 bag flight stand and blade base let's wrap this up everyone all right here is our size roundup that's going to put the book on the mezco 112 standard blade and as you can see here based on my research you got a lot of mezco figures that can interact with blade and i think that's very cool i'd like the size difference between all of these guys you got a lot of stuff going on here and i think it works really well as it relates to the toy fair version of blade well which one should you pick up obviously the standard version is going to be cheaper and it comes with more than enough to get you by. But if you really need those alternate heads, then you're going to have to go to eBay and pay the crazy fee for this guy if you weren't able to attend Toy Fair and get one. Now, as for Blade himself, I love the figure and hopefully you guys will too. But that's going to do it for me today. Just a quick note, head over to Talk Arts Channel 2 on YouTube. He did a phenomenal review of this and he's part of the Undercover Capes team. Go check out that website in Extreme Dash Sets. Slideshow at the end. Hope everyone's doing well. And until next time, great googly moogly.